You asked for it, guys, so we're doing it. It's Fix-It Felix Jr. and Calhoun from Wreck-It Ralph 2. Ralph breaks the internet. Let's do this. Hey, guys, me, your host, Super Sorrel. Thank you very much for tuning in. Look what I got. It's Calhoun and Fix-It Felix Jr. from the Wreck-It Ralph 2 movie, Ralph Breaks the Internet. I believe they have actually just dropped dropped the name Wreck-It Ralph 2, and I believe they're just going with Ralph Breaks the Internet, or Disney's R Ralph Breaks the Internet. So I'm really excited to have these. You guys requested it because, as I, as you know, I did my fix it. I did the Wreck-It Ralph and Vanellope review, and you guys, I asked you in, the, in that video whether you want to see the other two figures, and you said yes. So I went out and picked them up so I could review them for you. So we have Fix It Felix Jr. here, and we also have Calhoun. Calhoun was the character. Uh, that was from the, uh, the Heroes Duty game. If you remember, she had that tragic backstory that she lost her husband on her wedding day. And it's one of those bug-like creatures. So she's a really cool character. She's played by Jane Lynch. Really, I think, was it Jane Lynch? I think it was Jane Lynch. And uh, yeah, she's a really cool character. And then of course we've got Fix It Felix Jr., man. Who's a very well-spoken gentleman. And he is the hero of the Fix It Felix Jr. game that Ralph is the antagonist uh, for. And he's gonna wreck it and fix it. Felix has to fix it. So guys, let's break open these from the packaging and let's take a look at them. As well, I have got Wreck It Ralph and Vanellope with me, just so we can stand them all together and double check on like the sizings and how they look together. Now these are by Bandai. I was very surprised. Normally Disney go with Hasbro. Uh, but very surprisingly on this occasion they've gone with uh, Bandai. So this is a Bandai toy review. I don't do much Bandai products because Bandai tends to focus on a lot of like, um, well they, they used to have the Jurassic Park range and they do a lot of the Power Rangers stuff, which I don't collect. One time the scissors came in handy. There we go. So that's Calhoun. And they do come with a little little avatar person. If you don't remember from the last review, I will just show those off again. In this video. I wish Calhoun came with a gun though. She doesn't come with her gun. In the first movie, she carried around this great big blaster rifle. It's a really cool weapon. Fix it, Felix. And he also comes with a little avatar person. See, Fix it, Felix does come with his hammer. It is static to his hand, sadly. But he does come with his little hammer. So I'm a bit disappointed that Calhoun doesn't come with a rifle. Okay. And again, that was the one that came with. So we have two, like three overall now, because one came with Vanellope. Just to give you a rundown, these are basically, uh, you can take these little things out, like that's a love heart, or a shopping trolley, and you can take the, um, oh, the head does come off. You can take the, oh, if I can do it, doesn't want to do it. Basically, you can take the hairline, the hair one off. Oh, it doesn't want to come out. Uh, try the other one. I can't take the hair piece off. I can't take the hair piece off either of them is stuck. But basically, as you can see, there's like other heads in there, and you can basically rotate these, and it creates different faces. And you can uh, like like this guy wants either a donut or some sleep. So you can kind of kind of swap and change them around and make a little personalized avatar. That's not what I bought the toy for. So I'm not that bothered about them. I know that these little Mebo things, wherever they're going to be, are critical to the movie. Because you see them in the trailer, like, popping up. There's, like, pop-ups. I think these represent people on the internet, like, avatars. 
But okay, let's take a look. We've got Fixie Felix Jr. first of all, guys, and his hammer is static to his hand. It doesn't. It does kind of rotate a little bit, but you are bending the plastic. The hat as well is static to the head. Uh, the head is not on a ball joint, so he can only look left and right. Uh, he doesn't really look down and up. That's me just messing with the joint more than anything. Uh, the arms do lift up, which is a shame because he does actually have a little, a little place to put the hammer. But the hammer is static, so that would have been nice to have been able to take it out and put it in the, in the little um, pocket because it is actually a proper hole there and everything. So I think the original plan was for that weapon to be removable. And of course, his legs do lift up as well. Uh, they do lift out as well slightly. So the articulation is not bad. Uh, the representation to the character though is brilliant. I love how these characters look. They all look spot on. So I really do like, and the, the paintwork and everything has been is good on these as well. Uh, no, no waist rotation either. Hmm. And then we have Calhoun. I think that's how you pronounce the name. Now she's got a little bit more articulation. Um, her head uh, still static, not a ball joint, but it can move left and right. Oh, a little bit stiff, but her arms do lift out and do lift up. Uh, she doesn't have an elbow, sadly, and the hands are static. And her legs do lift that's sort of outwards as well, but forwards with no knee or foot uh, articulation. But it does mean you can get her in slightly better poses than Fix It Felix. He's kind of in he's the 5 POA cl classic look. Yeah, his arms didn't lift out. So Ralph and Vanellope have really limited articulation, whereas the articulation on Wreck-It Ralph and Calhoun was a little bit better. Seems to be standard on both of those like that. But guys, I'm going to go to the desk cam to give you guys an up-close personal look at these figures, and then we'll obviously compare them to Wreck-It Ralph and Vanellope as well. I'm really excited for this film, I can't wait for it. I love the trailer with the, the Disney princesses and stuff, the way they act and things. Looks so funny. And the song as well for the for the uh, the new movie is brilliant. I really like it. Um, I'm trying to think who it's by then, but I couldn't think of it. Um, but yeah, the, the song's really nice. I really like that, so look it up. And uh, yeah, let's go to the desk cam. Okay, guys, here they are out of the packaging. It's Wreck-It Ralph. Sorry, it's Fix it Felix Jr. and Calhoun uh, from Wreck-It Ralph 2. Let's take a look at them individually before we look at them together. So let's just take her away for now and bring Fixie Felix forward. So Fixie Felix, like I was saying, the paint apps are very good. It's shame by his limited articulation, but it is the same with Vanellope. Uh, there's the fully working holes to look, by the way. So they did think about giving him a hammer that came out of his hand, but for whatever reason, during post during production and things, they went for a static hammer. So he is a bit limited as to what poses we can get him in. Uh, we can't make him look up at Calhoun, which is annoying because obviously they're a bit of an item, I believe, in the film. or well, they were in the first film, at least. So it would have been nice to uh, be able to sort of pose them like that, but nope. We can't make him look up at her, and she's too tall, and she can't look down at him. Oh, such a shame. <laughs> can't, can't, can't even make her bend down on one knee to him. Such a shame. But... I'm hoping Disney, um, with their usual product from Disney Store, give us some maybe better articulated figures. I'd like to see that. Would you guys like to see something like that? Some like better articulated figures? Maybe even from the toy box range. I know they've already got Wreck-It Ralph and Vanellope. I think we could do with a Fix-It Felix in the toy box range as well. But like I said in my last video, guys, these figures actually do scale really well with them. Uh, I'll show that off in a little bit, but yeah, they do scale really well with the uh, with the toy box range. They do look like they belong together. So, um, actually, moving on, the, just looking at the costuming, it's really good. The paint apps are really good on this particular one. Uh, they've done a great job of putting this together. The production markings are on the back, so we can have him facing forwards. Uh, yeah, I'm just trying to look for any flaws, and I can't really see any. They've done a great job. The blue on the hat is different to the blue on the shirt. Uh, the blue on the trousers is different to the blue on the shirt and the hat. So they've kind of made it blend really well. It doesn't like it's one solid blue. So it makes it look realistic. And I like the little cuff on his jeans as well with his boots. They've done really well at creating that character, to be honest. I really like it. So let's take him out of the way. And let's bring Calhoun back in. I think I'm pronouncing that name right, guys, but... I need to re-watch Wreck-It Ralph 1. It's been a while since I've seen that movie. And uh, there she is, again, played by Jane Lynch. She uh, she brings her sort of rough and sort of uh, dry sense of humour to the role. Yeah, I think they've, they've captured her really well, actually. That, that does actually look like a... She was like a... She had like a tough at, like, like attitude in the first film. 
I like it. You can actually see the different um, things in the armor, the indentations, and different stylized ideas that's gone into it. Looks very sci-fi. Looks really cool. So I like how they've managed to make them look different, like like they are from different worlds and things, but they still look like they belong together in a toy range, which is awesome. Which is kind of the idea of like the toy box, so that's why I think it's cool that they all scale. So yeah, great figures. I really like them. So let's just pull these back here a second so you can get a better look. Let's bring Felix back. So Vanellope uh, scales well with Felix. She does look a bit short compared to Calhoun, but I think that's meant to be like that in the film anyway. And then we've got Ralph himself. <laughs> Taller than all of them, including Calhoun. So we bring him just back here. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to wreck it. Yeah, these things look really good together. I really like how they've made them. I think they've designed them all really well. Wouldn't you agree, guys? Which one's your favourite character from this range? Let us know in the comments down below. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this review. But let's go back to the main camp and finish this video off. And just because people do ask me um, about the scaling with the... Um, with the uh, toy toy box figures, here it is like the Grey Hulk with Wreck It Ralph, Yoda against the other two smaller guys, and that's Calhoun with the Han Solo. So for me, these do all scale really well together, and the the, the new Wreck It Ralph figures are in keeping with toy box styling. So you would get away with posing all these together, and that's what I plan to do with my Wreck It Ralph figures, because I don't think they will make a Fix It Felix Jr. or a Calhoun for toy box. They are making Ralph and Vanellope, and like I said, as soon as I can get them, I can't wait to do a cross comparison between these figures and those ones. So stick around for that review when that comes out as well. But yeah, what, what do you think about Han Solo stood there with Calhoun? They look like they belong in the same toy range, right? Let me know your thoughts, guys, in the comments below. I think I found some new characters for my little sitcom that I've got planned in the new year, guys. Yeah, we just need that stitch to come out soon, then I can start. You know what I'm talking about, guys, if you've been here for a little while. Yoda's going to put a team together from across the Disney galaxies. It's going to be hilarious. But guys, let's go back to the desk cam. So guys, which is your favourite figure from this series? And which one did you like out of Calhoun and Fixie Felix Jr.? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, guys, please give it a thumbs up. It would really help us out. And also smashing the subscribe button also really helps us out. We're on the way to 20,000 subscribers. We're currently at 17,900 and something. So we've only got a couple of thousand to go. And it's going to be the biggest giveaway I've ever done. And I just can't wait to share it with you. We've come on a massive journey with this channel and I just want to thank each and every one of you for sticking around this long, putting up with me and my you know, weird ways and enjoying the toy reviews. So I hope you're still enjoying them and thank you for watching. As always, guys, I'm your host, Super Sorrel. I appreciate each and every one of you and I'll see you again tomorrow. May the force be with you.